Yay, I love this message for you today. This is one of my favorite cards. Um, we got the Synchronicity card. I'm going to read it to you. Um, it says Synchronicity Spiritual Rendezvous. And the picture on the front, you can see um, they are on an escalator. I almost said elevator. That's an escalator. And um, so it's all about synchronicities being in the right place at the right time. And um, I'm going to read the content on the back here. This is from my deck, Addiction Recovery with the Law of Attraction. So um, I created this deck at, with all the techniques that I use to um, create new good habits and kick old addictions and bad habits. So I figured if it helped me, it could help everybody else too. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and read this. It says, everything you experience is a match in some way to the vibration that you are offering. The Law of Attraction is always in action and you attract through your feelings and imagination so the more you elevate your emotions the more you will rendezvous with people and events that will guide you in your recovery so recovery from addictions recovery from bad habits recovery from overthinking and negative thinking and getting stuck in that negative thought loop and obsessing about things um, that's an addiction you guys okay so in other words you want to be in sync with what you genuinely want so that you can find yourself in the right place at the right time. The more you become aware of synchronicity, the more you will attract inspiration, ideas, people, and events that will help get you closer to your goals. When you feel good, follow the inspiration that you receive to experience these enchanting meetings. Today, you are asked to use your negative thoughts as indicators. Never be upset with yourself or deny your negative feelings. The way to heal and elevate your emotions is by acknowledging those feelings and using them as a gauge so that you are aware of the areas where you need to change and shift direction. We are never going backwards when we find ourselves with a lower vibration as long as you use those emotions as your personal guide. Be thankful for these indicators. And I'm going to throw in there. Be thankful for your triggers because your triggers are actually showing you where you where you need some work, where you need to heal a little bit more, right? It's not a bad thing. It's all about growth, okay? So never beat yourself up for not maintaining the unrealistic goal of thinking pure positive thoughts. Nobody does that. Nobody. So stop trying to be that person. Um, instead, use your emotions as an indicator. Since you are always manifesting experiences, people, and events that are a vibrational match to you, your goal is to find ways to become the type of person you would like to attract. Decide what you would like to match up with and become it. You will not attract happy, healthy people in situations if you are broadcasting negativity and sadness to the universe. You're not going to attract it. If you're complaining, if you're bitching, oh gosh, I hear this from clients all the time and um, in my DMs a lot where people want to argue for their limitations. And But people, you know, like, like the dating world's a great example. Like, but everybody's like this and everybody's like this and they're complaining. Well, that's why you're attracting everybody like that. That's what you're focused on. We get what we focus on. Hate to break it to you, but that's the truth. So your emotions are a sign. Emotions are manifestations. So treat them as the evidence that you need to confirm what type of momentum you have going today. Examine negative thoughts as they come up to discover their roots. They are always based on a false premise, such as I am not enough. Once you are aware this is merely a lie you have been repeating to yourself, you can choose better feelings, better feeling thoughts, and shift your focus. This renewed mindset will allow you to experience miraculous synchronicities that will keep you on the path to complete addiction recovery and the joyful life that you deserve. And you guys, the biggest addiction is negative thinking, thinking you're not worthy. It's, it's an addiction. Believe, not knowing your value is an addiction. So um, that is something to think about. People just think it's alcohol and drugs and food addiction and things like that, and maybe overworking. Um, those are all truly addictions, and I had to overcome pretty much all of those. So, but what is the root cause? It's our thoughts, it's our feelings. And then we take actions 
that match up with those thoughts and feelings. So if we're thinking negatively, we're going to take negative actions. So it's just about catching yourself, you know, catching yourself, being more mindful and, and thinking better thoughts and making better, taking better actions. So I hope this helped. Um, if you guys would like to purchase a deck um, for to use at home for yourself, the, the, the key is you pick one every morning and that's your message. You follow the instructions for the day. Raises your vibration. It helps you take more positive actions. Think better thoughts. It sets you up for a great day. I will put the link below. I always say I'm going to do that and I forget. Today I will not forget. I'm going to put the link in the comments below if we're on a platform that allows it. If not, look above. It's usually up there <laughs> by my name and my profile. Okay, you can find it. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Let me know what you thought about this card. Enjoy your day.